Hi friends, it's Sam and I'm going to show you what I eat in a day as a vegan. Yes, I totally wake up with a cat eye. I just wake up looking this good. I often get a lot of questions about what I eat. I think people think vegans live off of beans and carrots and kale and that's it. The vegan diet is very varied. I probably eat more varied now than I even did as a meat eater. What I eat kind of changes a lot in day to day depending on what I have in the fridge, what I feel like eating. I try to eat pretty healthy for the majority. I don't count calories or restrict my diet in any way. I eat as much as I want. I haven't planned anything for today, but I do kind of have like a very specific morning routine that has developed over the years and I'm kind of a snot about it. Every morning I juice half of a lemon and put that into water and drink that while my coffee machine is heating up. But lemon is super alkaline and really good for your body. So it's my one kind of thing that I always do that's good for me. And then I always follow that up with a foamy latte. I know I'm such a snob. <laughs> Pretty much every morning I'll have a latte. I use soy milk, I use almond milk, whatever I'm kind of feeling. You can use other milks, but those are the two that I find that foam the best. So now I'm hungry for breakfast, so I think today I'm gonna make some oatmeal. I just have some quick oats here. I actually like whole oats better, but this is what I have right now, so I'm just trying to use them up. Some dates, this is the tail end of my dates. Sounds super grandma of me to put dates in oatmeal, I realize. <laughs> but it makes it really good. They kind of cook up and get caramelizy, and then it's like these little caramel bits in your oatmeal, which tastes so good. Banana. I know a lot of you might be thinking this banana is really gross and brown, but this is when bananas are actually the sweetest and healthiest. But it is perfect in oatmeal. Mmm. Mmm, oatmeal. I'm gonna. Sprinkle some coconut flakes on top. Then I'm gonna put in a lot of almond milk because I like it soupy apparently. It's 12.30 now and I'm just gonna make some tea. I like it, it's warm and comforting. Do I have to explain why you like tea? I think people just like tea. So I'm gonna make some tea now. Oh, hello kettle, that's super dirty. Hi. Making some tea. So while my tea is boiling, as far as eating vegan goes, people think to ask me if it's really difficult. And I always say to them, it's no difficult than it is to eat meat. That's what's in my kitchen. It's not like I go to my fridge and I'm like, oh, I'm hungry, what am I gonna eat? And then there's like nothing but chicken wings and ham and cheese on the shelves. Like I don't have any of that in my kitchen. My whole kitchen is vegan, so everything in here I can eat. It's not like I have to think about it every second of every day. So it's almost 1.30 now and I'm hungry for some lunch. So um, I just pulled out kind of everything in my fridge and I'm just gonna make a big wrap. Some vegetarian refried beans, red onion, cilantro, orange pepper slices, diced jalapeno, a homemade cashew sour cream, cucumber slices, some lettuce, daiya cheese, and just some salsa. And then I'm just gonna wrap it all up and it's gonna be delicious. Now, So that wrap is really good and I'm still hungry so I'm actually just gonna make another one. Do it all over again. What do you know? I made it. <laughs> oh. mm. I'm also having another cup of tea. Pomegranate. Rooibos, rooibos, rooibos. I have no idea how to say that. Acai berry, acai. I don't even know. I can't say any of these words, but it tastes delicious. It's almost six o'clock, and I'm gonna have a little snack. I tend to eat dinner later in the day. If you notice, I tend to eat everything later in the day. I eat breakfast late. I eat lunch late. I eat dinner late. So. That's just kind of how I roll. This is what I lamely call a munchie bowl. Ooh. Just different kinds of nuts. I have pecans, peanuts, almonds, and some dried cherries. This might, whoa. It's just really easy to grab um, when I'm busy. I can just have this and some tea, and I really like it. Nuts. Oh. I'm losing light here, so I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna have for dinner because I know, and then I'll do some photography of that, and I'll have my voice talk over it right now, and you'll see gorgeous pictures of my dinner. Ooh, doesn't it look delicious? It looks so yummy. Oh, they smell good, just like this. So many spices, I just wanna eat it. When it comes to veggie burgers, cooking them low and slow is the way to go. Cause you want it to get nice and crispy on the outside and then cook all the way through so that it doesn't get mushy. Check it out. Lettuce on there, red onion, cilantro, ketchup, 
mustard, and then I put some more of that cashew sour cream on it. The veggie burger itself, which is secret ingredients because it's for my cookbook, looking good. If you don't know, I am writing a cookbook. It doesn't taste like chicken, the cookbook, vegan recipes that are gonna make you drool. They're gonna be so good. So that's everything I ate today. I've gotta go on a date now, so I'll probably have a cocktail, but I think it would be pretty weird to bring up my camera on the date, especially because I've never met this person before, so wish me luck with that. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions about me or about veganism, let me know, I'm happy to answer them, and I'll see you next time. Bon appetit!